Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on describing a 180 degree rotation centered at a point. Now in a previous video we were given the center of rotation and we were told it's the origin, but we could be rotating the shape around any point. So for example, I could put my finger, say here is the center of rotation, then if I was to spin the shape A around this point here where my finger is, I could rotate the paper so that the shape rotates around. Now when you have a 180 degree rotation, that means it's doing a half spin. So let's say that my finger was there as a center of rotation and I was to spin A 180 degrees round, that means my paper would be rotating a half spin, so upside down. So the shape would now be down here. So this is a 180 degree rotation. And when you want to describe a 180 degree rotation, there's a nice way to do it. Now all you need to do is take some point on the original shape and then work out the equivalent point on the other shape, the rotated shape. Now can you see this is sort of like where diagonal line and a sort of horizontal line meet? And you can see that's equivalent to this point here. That's where you've got your diagonal line and the horizontal line. Now what you then do is you join these points up with a ruler and you take the middle and then you take the midpoint of these two. So can you see that this point here is halfway between these two points here? And that is the center of rotation. Now this technique only works for 180 degree rotation. It will not work for 90 degree rotation. There's a separate method for that, which we'll explore later. And can you see, look, if I put my finger here and I rotate the paper, so the shape A spins around it, can you see that A is now where B previously was. These shapes have sort of rotated around, so each shape is swapped in position. So let's describe this. We always say it's a rotation, so we distinguish it from, say, a reflection or an enlargement. Um, we need to say the center, so about the center, and then read off the coordinate of that point. So this is the point one, two. Remember, give the x value first, so one, then the y value, two and we need to say what we span it by. Now it's 180 degrees, so we just say by 180 degrees. And if it's a 180 degree spin, it doesn't matter whether it was clockwise or anti-clockwise, because if I spin my pen 180 degrees anti-clockwise, or if I spin my pen 180 degrees clockwise, I end up in the same position, so it doesn't matter. So you do not need to write clockwise or anti-clockwise. 